a little bit of interference there as we head down um, Conrad Strait, staying to the left-hand side of the road. Alan Grice driving quite smoothly. Later in the day, we'll be able to show you uh, uh, what it's like or what Grice, how he drives the car, because we have uh, remote on our race cam system, so we can show you the driver's hands and how he's attacking the wheel or not attacking. It's smooth. Okay, so uh, Grice comes under the Hardy Bridge. It's down um, pit straight into the left-hander at Hell Corner. Through there quite smoothly. Heading now up uh, Mountain Straight towards uh, GTX Bend, the right-hander. Car yeah, very, very competitive. They've had uh, problems with it, a uh, few minor problems in uh, practice. But as you can see, Alan Grice heading up the mountain. We'll have more in store from our camera cars, our chopper, 23 other camera locations around the circuit when we return to the James Hardy 1000 from Mount Panorama at Bathurst. Dual world position. Heading through GTX, now up the top of the mountain. Murray Carter, the Russell car just in front of them, so we have a lot of traffic here. We've got one that's parked up there, that's not too good either. Okay, troubles would it be for Kevin Bart? We'll wait to see. Yes, it looks like Kevin Barclay is coming into the pit area. Our report is that he has a deflating left-hand front tyre. Let's just see how quickly the crew can get onto this job. That's going to put Johnson out in front with a comfortable edge over Bobby Morris at this stage. Okay, the crew all have jumped over uh, one of the air jacks driving in. So Bartlett by this stage has overshot the pit area. This is precious time. Fuel coming out very, very quickly indeed. Dumping fuel in the car and uh, going to replace tyres. We'll wait and see. Bartlett sitting in the machine trying to lift it up and get uh, a new front wheel and tyre on. There it is. You see the crew very quickly working with the uh, air guns. So whether or not uh, misfortune certainly uh, has uh, beset Peter Brock, who led this race, and now Kevin Bartlett, who was leading. That's putting Dick Johnson uh, out in front, as I said, with a comfortable uh, edge. We'll go trackside now to Evan Green. Evan, can you fill us in on exactly what's happened? We're here in a great deal of heat as they try to swing the airstrips away to get into change the wheel. The tyre... Okay. Winding the wheel on, you can see that desperate effort to try and unhook the metal. That fellow's going to get himself burnt hands there. It's very hot in there with all the heat from those front disc brakes. There's some dismantling now having to go on. They're trying to work from the inside of the guard so that they can get that metal clear. An oil line has just been uh, disconnected. We'll spray it with hydraulic fluid here. There. I suspect they're trying to disconnect the brake on this side. The other side, they say, not so bad. I'll see if I can speak to Kevin. He's a bit remote from it. I'll go over here. Kevin, can you spare us a moment? Very frantic times, those early laps. Too hard, or do you, the car feel like... Fine. It's just a, a complete and utter amateur nincompoop got in the way. And turned right, just turned straight across my path, put me straight into the fence, and I took him, mate. That guy has to be black flag. I'm going to punch him in the mouth when the race is over, and that's a fact. And he said that with yeah, some authority. Just having conversation with co-driver Bobby, of course. You can see the damage on the, the guard. The fiberglass extension has been cracked. The paint from the other car there. The remains of the the guard still causing trouble as the mechanics try to clear it out. They're going to get fire extinguisher out now because of the heat. I suspect they're concerned that they may have a fire there. There's some hydraulic fluid leaking from the front. The mechanic with the fire extinguisher comes into place, has it ready. He may give it a dousing with foam. A rag is the next order. Things are pretty hectic here in the pits at the moment. I have John Shepard with me while we watch, John. These are the moments in which the race can be lost. Exactly, Evan, and this is the sort of thing that you, as I was saying before, you have a problem like this here. You don't count on them in the first place. A car like this is running so strongly and a minor problem like this and everything's gone astray now. Eh? What are they doing on the inside there? I can't quite see where they're draining uh, hydraulic fluid. Yes, yeah, so Damage to the brake? 
it seems that way, Evan. I'm just trying to see myself, but I'm trying to have a look without getting in their way. And I'm sort of, I feel like I don't want to get involved because they don't need us under their feet, but they're cutting pieces of bodywork away and all sorts of things. OK, thanks very much, Evan Green and John Shepard. Well, drama in the pits, Evan. Uh, got those few words from Kevin Bartlett leading the race in the slower car has taken him out into the wall. He's been there for three and a half minutes. Well, there's a lot more drama to come when we return to Mount Panorama at Bathurst for the James Hardy once out.